Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to just be doing a reading for you, Gemini. Just a regular reading. We'll see what comes out. How are you guys doing so far this week, Gemini? My fellow sun signs. All right, if you are here and you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take just a second and give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. I do, I do, I do. All right, Gemini. Almost wanted to come out. Let's see. What messages for Gemini? What is your reading? Okay, guys, we have backstabbing, partying, and hammer. On the bottom of the deck, we have love. All right, guys, so the energy here is that someone was out acting as if they were single. Someone felt like, you know, maybe there was a third party interference here. Maybe someone did cheat. I always hate to make that assumption, but that's what's here, guys. I feel like you love this person unconditionally, Gemini, and they cheated on you. They sabotage themselves with this hammer card and now they're trying to come back and rebuild with you. Trying to repair the damage. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Let's see what messages are going to come out. Gemini, why is this message here, Spirit? People always want to come back after they, you know what I mean, after they hurt me. You didn't think about all that when you were hurting me, did you? <laughs> it's like... I, I would take this backstabbing card as something else, but since partying is coming out next to it, this is definitely someone out about at the club or acting like they're with their friends but they're really out here you know what i'm saying dealing with other people look at their page of wands while you sitting at home wondering where they at then when they come home you ready to fight gemini because you already know what they've been up to <laughs> That's so crazy, Gemini. And then they want to make you think you crazy. I was just with my friends. All right. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Gemini, let's see. What are these messages here, Spirit? Gemini, we have a Queen of Cups here in reverse. We have the Five of Cups here, more sadness. Someone's feelings have been hurt here. Um, Gemini, uh, we do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, but uh, this Queen of Cups could also be you. In your feelings um, we do have some fire energy here this is Aries Leo Sagittarius um, we do have the king of wands here you guys know how the king of wands is he's a busybody a lot of people want the king of wands this doesn't have to be a man you know there's no gender in tarot so this is somebody, this is like, Gemini, I'm assuming your partner was very popular. Your your partner, you know, they had a lot of friends. Um, you know, they liked hanging out. They're, they were always on the go. And, you know, with the King of Wands, you know, King of Wands can get it in. You know, guys, one night stands possible going on here. And, you know, you're sad here. But I have the sun here, guys. So this is you trying to stay positive about the relationship and wanting success for the relationship, possibly wanting children with this person. 
but judgment's here in the reverse. This is a decision was made. I don't know if this was a decision on your part, guys, or if this was um, spiritual with the sun being here. This could have been spirit taking control of the situation to help you release yourself. I have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a reliable person. You know, the Knight of Pentacles puts in work. The only issue with the Knight of Pentacles is sometimes... You know, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of in a position of becoming successful, if you know what I mean. Like, they're just starting to understand how money works. They understand that you have to put away a little bit for a rainy day. You know, they may not be at the top of their game, but they are hustling. You know, they are here trying to, to get their bag. I have the Two of Pentacles here, guys. That's either juggling people or, you know what I mean? Having a lot of, um, a lot of commitments. We have an emperor here in reverse. That is Aries energy. And we have the six of pentacles and the nine of cups. So let's see what energy is here. So somebody was really mean. It looks like your person was very mean, very manipulating, very uh, much controlling. Um, I do show this person giving to other people with this two of pentacles and the six of pentacles in reverse. And, you know, this is not what you signed up for, Gemini. I have the three of pentacles. The tower in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, guys. So there could have been, like we said, a third party interference in the connection. But this brought about a tower moment here. And, you know, this is where everything just went left. This is what broke up the relationship on the bottom of the deck. We have justice in reverse. We have an empress here in the five of pentacles. This is the emperor's match here. This person felt rejected. This could be you, Gemini, feeling rejected, feeling like this person didn't do you right. For some of you, you may have children with this person. And some of you may even be pregnant right now. I'm also hearing had a pregnancy scare. So you can take that as it resonates. But guys, I don't see you really wanting to, to continue down this path with this person. I see you kind of wanting to just like walk away from this person. Okay. Let's see what else needs to come out here, Jonah. Let me see if anything else stands out. Please. All right, Gemini, one more. All right, what messages for Gemini? We have cornucopia, Gemini. Cornucopia. Cornucopia is like everything, okay? This is having everything that you've ever dreamt of having, having a variety of things. We have all tied up. 
So these two cards coming up, I feel like you guys are holding yourselves back from your dreams, holding yourselves back from your wish fulfillment. Um, with the all tied up card, guys, that's really just the eight of swords. And that's where, you know, you have um, a lot of negative thinking in regards to the relationship. You may have even some limiting beliefs about yourself. Um, you Maybe you feel like you can't do better. I don't know why the Eight of Swords is here, but the Eight of Swords is a card of, I'm just going to ignore what's going on here because if I don't ignore what's going on here, I'm going to have to deal with this. And I think for you guys, um, until you deal with this situation um, with this person, you're not going to get your cornucopia. You're not going to get, you know what I mean? The life that you, you, you dreamt of. On the bottom of the deck, I just saw the magician in the moon. So that's, you know, whatever you've been manifesting, you're not quite sure if it's going to come to you with that moon energy. You can't see the forest for the trees because you're giving all your energy to this relationship. And it's making you unhappy. That's why this nine of cups came out in reverse. We have the second chakra. This is your sacral chakra. That's about your wants and your desires. What is your cornucopia? What is it that you desire? What are you, you know, what are you doing to keep yourself from having everything that you've ever wanted? You have angel of strength. Meanwhile, this person is tearing you down. You're having to dig deep to even deal with like the, the, the negativity and the toxicity that's here. You have the third chakra. This is your solar plexus chakra. Let's get one more card. Gemini. And the reason that this third chakra card is coming out, guys, especially with the sacral chakra is because you have such a strong desire for your partner. It's, it's, it's even deeper than, you know, probably anything you've ever felt, which is why you're probably having a hard time separating. There it is. Blossoming abundance, blossoming abundance. Guys, you got cornucopia and blossom and abundance. On the bottom of the deck, you have happy family. Wow. Guys, you have an opportunity here to birth something new with this Empress card. If you want it, if you want to stay in this energy with this person where they don't show up, where they always leave you out in the cold, where they breadcrumb you. You know, they give you their time when they feel like giving you their time. It's not going to work out for you. Justice is here in the reverse. So you guys have the opportunity <laughs> to have whatever it is that you want. You have happy family, cornucopia, and blossom in abundance. But there is, again, there's a need for you to focus on yourself. Nurture yourself. Figure out what it is that you desire. What do you want for yourself? And once you do that, guys, that's where you're going to actually start meeting people who really care about you because you care about yourself. That's the energy that you're putting out to the universe. And things will come into balance. I have angel of balance here. And that's when you'll be on the right path, guys. The temple path. Spirit is telling you that there are other opportunities available to you. You have adjacent possibilities here. And this is the door to spirit. Spirit is making available new opportunities for you, Gemini, in love. And not only in love, for those of you who are, you know, thinking about doing something, starting a project, starting your own business. Spirit is here. They're letting you know. You're only holding yourself back. All 
right, guys. So with that love coming out at the beginning of the reading, I think Spirit is trying to let you know that you can have someone that loves you unconditionally if you want it. And guys, under that is the coffee cup. That's about new energy, meeting someone and actually forming a, a firm foundation. And then after that, guys, we have cut down. That's after you've cut down something where you have this new opportunity. And I'm now looking at healthy choices. Once you make a decision to love you and you figure out your value, you won't tolerate this energy from this person. All right, Gemini, well, this is here for a reason. So let's find out what spirit wants you to do, what they want you to know. in I'm also hearing guys if you are out here or overindulging it's okay to party you know what I mean but if you're overdoing it you could be sabotaging yourself and if you keep it up it's going to cause an issue in your life you may start to lose things We have conclusions are within reach. Expect powerful change. Bring love into the situation. All right, guys, that card comes out whenever, you know, there's conflict. You guys may be arguing with each other. On the bottom of the deck, we have a fiery um, climax approaches. And under that, I saw surrender to divine. So I think you guys are getting ready to, if you haven't already broken it off with this person, you're getting ready to end it with this person and things, you know, it's not going to be an easy ending. Um, this person, I did have, you know, a little bit of controlling energy, a little bit of argumentative energy that came out. So there's going to be arguments. They're not going to go willingly. Okay, guys. But, um, I think the heat is getting ready to rise, but as a result of that, guys, there's change here. The Nine of Swords just wanted to come out. That stress and that anxiety that you've been feeling, the fear, the turmoil, the worry is going away. You're tired of sitting in that energy. So with bring love into the situation being here, it's about forgiveness. It's about forgiving yourself. That's why the self-love card came out, the healthy choice card. And it's about forgiving this person and ending it, you know. You can still have love for the person, but it doesn't mean you have to stay. Look, guys, <laughs> the devil, detachment. This is a weight that you have to let go of. You can't keep carrying around this weight. You have other responsibilities to other people in your life, to other things. You have things that you're trying to accomplish for yourself. And, you know, you need to let this energy go. Let's get some information for these messages. Why are they here? What is the advice for Gemini? We have the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Temperance in Reverse. 
Okay, guys, we have Aries energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Lots of air energy here. There is a little fire here. Um, so I just see you guys not being happy. I don't see you guys progressing or moving on with this person. Even though you, you know what I mean? For some of you, you were married. Um, for others of you, you thought this was your person. You know, there was a strong spiritual bond there, a strong spiritual connection. And, you know, you just felt betrayed. It was a hard ending. It was sad. And, you know, you resisted it ending. But I think you guys are going to find clarity. And if you don't find clarity, even if you don't find clarity, I just see you cutting this energy off, Gemini. And then with temperance being here on the bottom of the deck, this is about you guys not being able to really heal. You may not be healing well. And you you know what I mean? Maybe you're being impatient. Maybe you're saying things like, you know, why haven't I found love yet? You know, will I ever find love? And look at here, the three of cups in reverse. I think that um, some of you are lonely and you're ready for new opportunities, new possibilities. You're ready to start something with someone who is going to give to you in the way that you give to them. You don't have stability and you know what I mean? But you are ready. You're ready for a, a, a new relationship here. You're ready for something new. The Empress is back, guys. Gemini, for you Geminis out there who are getting it in, um, be careful. Be careful. The Empress has come out a lot here in this lover's energy. So be careful. And there are other, other cards. There are a couple other cards here, the world and the will. So for some of you, be careful. You may, um, you may get pregnant. Just letting you know. All right, Gemini. But the heaviest energy here is for you to focus on yourself. I now have the Queen of Wands here and the Three of Swords. That's about healing, guys. So this is about you, like I said, healing yourself and being able to move on from this situation. All right, Gemini, that's been your reading. If you are here, you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take a second and give me a thumbs up. All right, Gemini, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll catch you on your next read.